Just like you can or you can't. I've got a thumbs up. I don't know if that means you can hear me or not. In the chat pod, you can type uh, if you can hear me or not. Hey, Jen. Hey, Dave. Y'all can hear me? Okay, cool. So, um, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so excited to have you here live streaming with me. I'm trying a new webcam out to see if uh, the video quality is good for streaming. Awesome. So, this morning, let me get that out of the way. This little, hey Kim from the Netherlands. All right, y'all can hear me. That's good. That's good. Um, so this morning, some jelly plating. So if you um are, I'd love it if you would just leave like hashtag replay. So I know that you are here. If you do have to drop during the session of me actually going through the jelly printing live. It's totally cool. Um, you will be able to watch the replay later. Um, sometimes it does take a few hours before that replay is available, but um, I wanted to get on and just make sure my camera was set up good before we get started. And also just talk through a little bit, um, a few supplies that I have. So if you want to play along with me and you have a jelly plate, awesome. If you don't have a jelly plate, I do believe you can use like a large Ziploc bag, um, would work as well to give you that slick, um, that slick feeling okay so i'm also going to do some experimenting because if you know me at all you know i like to play and i like to experiment and find new ways well my friend i don't know if she's on here yet but she told me that she might actually pop in kristen peterson's channel um she did some alcohol inks on her jelly plate recently so i wanted to play with that because i've never tried it out so i've got those I've got some um, bubble wrap because y'all know I have this fetish when it comes to being able to recycle. So I am, uh, I'm excited about that. I've got the large bubble wrap. I've got the, the small bubble wrap. So I'm probably going to use that to make my imprints. I've got a, quite a few stencils laid out here. Oh, excuse me. Oh, goodness. Um, some Tim Holtz, the numbers. I really like numbers and letters. So I have a few of those. Where did that other one go? Huh. And um, I've got some. If you watched, I did a video where I actually cut out and made cardboard stencils. I'm going to be using some of those. These are, this looks like it was a granola bar package or something like that so I'm going to be using a few of these probably as well and then I really like these like cardboard letters and then this is some more handmade stencils so I'm showing you these if you don't have a lot of stencils available to you then like use what you have is my motto and cut you out some out of uh, food packaging so and then I do have um, some regular stencils that I may use as well. And then I really like this one. This one's like a little cheapy that you can get in the little architect area or whatever. Um, but you can tell it's seen as better days. And y'all already know that I do not wash my stencils. Okay? So don't judge me. Do not judge me. All right, no washing stencils. Life is too short. And then I don't wash my brayer um, until it builds up with paint, and then I have to. So it's like a work of art, is it not? Isn't that like a cool piece of art? And it gives you this lovely texture. Um, so, yeah, that should be fun. I've got a few brayers here. I've got some that are textured. Whee! Um, I picked these up at Tuesday morning a long, long time ago, and then another brayer as well. 
And see, this is what happens if you don't claim your brayers, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. And then you're like, holy moly, mother of pearl, Tiff. I, you have a lot of jelly plates. <laughs> I do. Um, so I've, I've got my 8x10 Jelly Arts gel printing plate. I've got two of those. Long story how I ended up with two. And then my beautiful friends, I don't know if she's on here hanging with me today, but uh, Marcy Melanson, uh, a, a very sweet and dear friend to me, um, heard me complaining about the white border around my um, prints. And so she sent me the big daddy. Um, all big daddy jelly prints. How big is this thing? Like 13 inches by 14 inches or something like that. So I'm probably going to use multiple jelly plates. And the reason why is because y'all already know I don't like to wait for paint to dry. So with the alcohol inks, and I just saw Kristen uh, hop on there. Um, in Kristen's video with the alcohol inks, she lets the alcohol inks dry. And so, I want to make sure I let it dry. And then, if my, um, I've got a moderator getting on this morning to help me out. If, I don't know if she's on there or not. But, uh, if Lisa is out there, she's going to help me moderate just in case we have some people sneak in and trolling on our live streams with some craziness. So, um, I hope that you either have your cup of coffee or I think it's okay. Awesome. Lisa, there's Lisa. She's my girl. She's going to be hanging out with me. Um, just making sure everything goes good. And then, um, it looks like we've got people from everywhere. What's up? Chicago, the Netherlands, Arizona, Florida, Canada. Woo, woo. Um, and you know, your girl just coming way down South. Um, in the coast of Alabama is where I am hanging out with you today. So I'm so excited to have you here. Um, we've got Oregon, Oklahoma, um, and I believe we've got Jim from the UK and it should be like, um, afternoon for some of y'all. So, hey, Leslie from Alabama, we to Alabama. All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead. I've got papers everywhere. Y'all know a good jelly printing session is going to get messy up in here. Um, but my studio is already a train wreck, so it's fine. All right, the paper I'm going to be using is I just like to use randomness that I have available. Um, I also wanted to use... I knew Denali was going to try to ring that doorbell once I got going. I want to use some of this, um, what is this? P pattern, pattern paper, pattern tissue stuff that comes in patterns. Yes, that's what it is. Too. I wanted to use some of that to get some uh, jelly printing. And this would probably print very similar to say deli paper or um, tissue paper, which I've done a whole video on that. Um, so, you know, whatever, I'll just grab whatever. I've got some, um, this is actually a, a shirt, um, button up white shirt that I had. It used to be an old uniform for work. And so I've cut it apart. Um, and then I'm um, actually, I've never used regular newspaper, but, uh, my husband, Josh, if y'all know him. Um, he brought these home from his mom because she like gets the newspaper. I don't know anybody that still reads the newspaper, but my mom and his mom do. So he brought me those back in case I wanted them. So I've got a few pieces of that. I've also got this. I got it at a liquidation store. It's like a um, craft, um, not craft. It's, um, cardstock kind of cardstock but it's for posters and I thought it was a really cool size so I want to use that I've got all kinds of stuff so let's stop talking and let's get busy because that's how I do it all right so let's get all this up I also have some brown paper bags somewhere in this old mess I got all right so let me check and see if there's any yeah dad I will be excited to now what I am gonna do hey Sam she's 
she's a Bama girl too. Um, what I do know is I want to use my old jelly plates for the alcohol inks because I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to mess my big daddy up. And this uh, thing right here, bless it. Y'all, bless this heart. It's all green and just lovely. And I also don't wash my jelly plates. If y'all are surprised, welcome to my world. It's got all this lush, crusty goodness on it. So, all right. So, let's see. Let's see. Where do I want to start? I think I want to start with that um, technique that Kristen did so that I can let it kind of sit and dry because it has to dry in between layers so I think I'm going to go that and um awesome let's see I'm trying to turn on moderator right on Lisa and I don't know what I'm doing excuse me one moment All right, Lisa, I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing um, when it comes to making you a moderator. I can't figure that part out. But you just message me if you see anything pop up. Oh, there we go. I got it. Add moderator. Lisa is now moderator for your channel. Okay. So, um, all right. Let's get us a stencil out. And... All right, so I'm going to get like a nice size stencil. I think that has a good bit of like white area or whatever. Maybe. So first of all, I'm going to put down a few drops. These are Tim Holtz um, alcohol inks. All right, so we're going to go with the, a few little blue colors here. Oh, y'all, that is, that's gross. All right, just because we can. That's probably not the best color to use with that. Let's go with all blues first. Clover, blue and green. Hey, Kyla, what's up? What's up, Cindy? Oh, thanks for the shout out, Lisa. Yeah, if you're new on my channel, I would love it. I have a goal to hit 20,000 subscribers by my birthday. And y'all, I'm going to tell you, we're a long way away. Long way away. Not sure I'm going to make it. But, hey, it's all good. All right, let's put another color because why not? Oh, this mermaid, y'all. This looks delicious. All right, let's drop here, drop here. All right, so hmm. okay. Let me get a piece of that poster to clean it off. Well, y'all, that stuff dries fast down here. Huh. A lot of times it does, though, just due to where I live at. So we might not have a ton of drying time. Um, I want to make sure it's good and stuck down. Now, I believe, uh, Kristen, if you're on here, I believe that you had, um, you had like a uh, embossed jelly plate or something like that that I saw on your channel. I've never, I didn't even know that thing existed, girl, until I was like, what in the world is this? Okay, this is, this is some about some mixatives. Silver, we about to see. All right, we're just going to do it like that. And now I'm going to mixative it. I do like this honeycomb. Oh, shoot, Tiff. Yeah. Well, ah, okay, man, those bottles get stuck on there. All right, I'm wondering if I should start zhuzhing this around in here or what. 
So I don't know if it's going to dry real quick or what. All right. So this is alcohol inks with the mix. Oh, oh. With the mixative of the silver goodness. Oh, y'all. Oh, y'all. This, uh, this might be real cute. All right. Let's put some mushrooms. I don't even know what color that is. I'm hoping it's like a dark grungy color. Gel press is the one that um, Kristen uses with the um, indention. And then um, Kristen, if you uh, have your link, your channel link handy, you're, you're welcome to uh, put it in to the chat pod as well. And if you've ever jelly plated, you know the humidity and like how hot, cool, like the temperatures will determine how long it takes to dry. But y'all, this looks like it's drying very fast. And I don't know if it's because I don't know what I'm doing, which is 99% of my life. Um, but it already looks dry. Um, Melanie, will alcohol inks compromise the jelly plate? Um, so that's a great question. And this is my very first time using it. Uh, hey, Amy, I see Amy Sion from Texas. Um, been praying for Texas, um, as you are navigating out of that cold tundra. Let's see, Melanie. Um, what I would say is, um, is her name Brigitte? Brigitte? Um, she is part of the jelly, jelly team, um, I'm going to say. So, she did it on hers. So, I would think if it was going to compromise the jelly plate that they probably would not have that on their, um, channel. But I could totally be, be, uh, wrong about that. So, I don't really have any experience with it just yet. Um, but Kristen may can tell you, I mean, that she's done it quite a bit, uh, if it compromised the plate or not. So, okay, y'all, we have all of this goodness here. I'm going to peek, I'm going to, I'm going to lift it up and let's see. Okay. Okay. I see you said so. All right. So I see right here that it's still drying. I mean, it's still, yeah, it's still a little bit damp. All right, so I'm going to set this one to the side over here. Let's see. And then y'all just remind me to go back and check on it. Look at all that right there. All right, so. I'm still having my protein breakfast. Protein shake for breakfast. All right, so now let's get down and dirty till. Let's see. All right. It's time to bring the big daddy out. I'm going to put the alcohol inks up. We'll come and try something else with those in a little bit. But I wanted to let the dry time go first. This thing is so big. This thing is just wow. It's impressive. But I really like it because it doesn't give me the white edges. I don't like white edges. So what I'm going to be using is um, Master's Touch. I actually got some new paints. Um, they were 50% off at Hobby Lobby this week. And... I needed um, to replace, this isn't the same color, but I think it's pretty close. And you can't really beat the um, price. What's up, Ann? Oh, okay. Jenna says she uses, uh, well, shoot. I got a little heavy handed with that, y'all. Uh, she says she uses uh, alcohol inks all the time, and it works fine. So, all right. So, I'm going to go ahead. And if you're not familiar with my plop, plop, 
pat method. It's a very technical term um, that I use when I jelly print. And I'm going to explain it, what the plop, plop, pat method is. And it, I put too much paint, which is par for the course for me. And then got my clean off paper over here that I'm cleaning off on. And it always turns out being so yum. So, I love this big old plate. Alright. Alright. I'm going to keep it kind of like that. Alright. Now, what stencil do I want to use? Let's go with... We have enough that we can use lots of stencils on this one. Goodness. That's that little thing right there. Hmm. We need to use that on something. Hey, Amy C., you got that jelly plate out and you're using it? Because I know you hadn't used it since the last time you arted, arted um, at the uh, last retreat. I'm like 99% sure of it. This one, this one's kind of a little bent because it got in my box. All right, so now let's see. Let's do our first pull with some of this newspaper because why not? Now the plop, plop, pat method is I'm just going to lightly plop, I'm going to plop the paper on. Then I'm going to pat it just a little bit, okay? Because I always use too much and I know that about myself. I also have in here some copy paper, and I'm only getting a part of this. Oh, well, heavens to Betsy, isn't that cute? All right. I still got the sticker on that. This is just some cardstock. It's um, basil cardstock. Like that. And then I just kind of move my paper all around. All around like that. So that you get just a little bit around the whole thing. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Vern? And then this is some more of that card stock too. And now the, the more you do it, like the harder you can get because you have less paint. Oh, see, now I love it when it gets like that, y'all. And then you start getting them little crusty bits. Woo -hoo. Like that. Yes, I like it. All right. So now let's get to going. Let's get to going. I want to use. I think this is pink. Ooh. Well, Lord, I love that peachy pink with that yellow. Mm -hmm. 
All right, that's still some good stuff. All right, now what I wanted to do was I wanted to come in here with maybe these. This is Tim Holtz. Y'all, I don't know if I can see the letters on here to be able to tell you what the stencil is. And um, a lot of my prints make it into the journals that I make. It's just a really easy way, I feel like, to get um, a lot of color down and a lot of images going at a time. So I think I'll come back with this coffee paper piece here. Oh, now see, where did that come from? You just never know. I guess that was the mustard with the... And then I'll just start coming back in with pieces of that. And then doing the back too if I so feel inclined to do it. What are y'all talking about a sale? Girl, tell me, what's up? Somebody having a sale on Deborah? What kind of sale we got popping? <gasps> Y'all, look at this. Woo! That about set me back, y'all. I love that. Oh, yes, it's good until today. Oh, I was just there. Um, and another thing about Hobby Lobby, if y'all are in the U.S. and you have a Hobby Lobby, is the coupons, the 40% off coupon stops on the 28th. Um, so I've been going by there and trying to stock up on stuff uh, like my um, gel medium and stuff like that. All right, so I want to go in now with, I think I'm just going to try this um, Craft Smart on um, black. So, yeah, they still are having that sale today. Today, the last day, and then the, it'll change over. But I've been using that coupon, girl. Yep, they are doing away with the coupon forever, Kristen. It's a travesty. Yep, they are. I talked to the lady. Um, I had read it online. You can see a little bit of the print from that. I had read it online, so I asked the lady at, um, ooh, I like that too at Hobby Lobby, the cashier, and she said, yes, they are very disappointed. Um, very, uh, the employees were very disappointed because, of course, they get to use it as well, right? So, I love the grunge of adding black to the plate, too. Mm. And those little bits came up. That's awesome. I'm sad about the coupon, too. That's, um, now I feel we need some neon because life is better with neon pink. And this is Amsterdam Reflex Rose. And I hope when my friend comes to visit next time, I don't know if she's on here, but Michelle, I'm needing you to pick me up some or I'm going to have to order some. So you can get that, I think, on Amazon, too. I might have to order because I'm getting low. All right, so let's start with another. A stencil, a stencil, a stencil. What stencil will I use? I have so many, but I don't use them that much. Oh, this is my favorite though. You'll tell because it's been well used. This stencil, I recall, is by... um.
Well, see, that's why you probably should wash them from time to time, but I'm not going to do it. This is by Tracy Bautista. It is part of the, what is that? Stencil, stencil something, stencil girl. I'm going to go through with this bag right here. Ooh, cool. I like that. Give me some of that, please. Yes, that reflex rose. It is always my clutch. When in doubt, reflex rose will help you out. Oh, that could be a cool tagline for them. And this is just regular copy paper, y'all. Look at, I'm hoping this camera is doing this justice. Um, it, it was the yellow ochre, or ochre, however you say it, and it's uh, Master's Touch. I got it. It's 50% off right now. I really love this. Right here, right up in this little area right there is everything. Um, Melanie, Tim Holtz has some cool ones like these numbers. And I also like that you can, um, I have no idea what the stencil name is of this because I can't read it. Oh, it's just called numbered. That's it. Um, this is, uh, he has several and I like the fact that you can just clip it with, uh, one of these. That was a chicken feather, y'all. Y'all, y'all saw that? Lord. You can just clip them with this ring. I have several of his that I really like the designs on it because they're kind of just generic in the sense of, all right, what do I want to do? Oh, I love that. <clears throat> I love that part. All right, so what I want to do now is I want to go back and I'm going to try this milky white. And I'm hoping that it is dry enough. I'm going to do milky white on the top, and I'm going to go back with that yellow down here. A little half and half action. The um, movement over the jelly plate like that is so satisfying to me. Let's do a real, let's do a, a whole print right in the middle with this like card stocky poster board stuff I got. All right, I got that good and smush. And then I also have, uh, oh, I know what I did. I got all these tags, these manila tags. And I'm just going to put them around the edges. And maybe I'll just right here, I'll just go like this with my little sprayer just got lines in it. Vicky, that's funny. You're getting out in the frozen, you said, to go to Hobby Lobby. All right, so let's see. Big reveal. All right, let's go to the top. Oh, my goodness. I love that. That's why I don't wash the jelly plate. You can't get that with if you wash it. You just can't. Let's go ahead and take these off. Oh, that's lush. I got the hiccups. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, ah. <laughs> that's funny.
money, 39. Awesome, Cindy. Thanks for hanging out with us. Have a good rest of your day. Okay, let's see, let's see. Let me get it all in frame here. Ooh. Oh, what y'all think? What y'all think? Oh, y'all, this is good. This is really good. <laughs> See, you can't get this blue. That blue was like how many layers ago? But there was still just a little bit hanging on to the plate. But that is an amazing, like, put that in your journal. So I'm going to let this go ahead and let this one dry because I'm satisfied with it. And then I'll come back and print on that. But while I'm letting that one sit out, let me put it over here. I want to grab real quick that other one we had sitting. The alcohol ink one. All right, so it should be, okay, it's good and dry. And I'm going to use this milky white. I'm going to put a thin layer of that over. Now I want to pull this one on something white. All right, I've got these tabbed papers. Pressing it down real good, so hopefully it will get all the scrumptiousness up. And now I'm trying to decide, do I have to let this dry? I don't know. I'm going to go ahead for it. Oh, <gasps> y'all, hold on. Do y'all see it? Do y'all see that silver? Can you catch that on camera? Oh, oh, goodness. Oh, my, my, my. Y'all, this is awesome. Boom. So that alcohol ink is the shiz. Okay. I see you alcohol. What y'all think? Oh, Lisa, that's smart. A vinyl placemat. I would heard the plastic baggie, but that's awesome. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Is that cool? Did they make a pink alcohol ink? I'm thinking I saw that um, the uh, Brie Reese has a lot of alcohol inks out now. Dang. I got to take this watch off. My watch, that watch is itching me. Um, but I'm gonna have to have some pink alcohol ink now. Oh, oh, y'all, let's do this one. Let's do this one with it. Okay, okay, let's do this one. All right, all right, we're gonna set that to the side. All right, so let's see. What was step one? Okay, step one was to, let's do some different colors. Let's do red. What is this? Is this a color? Yeah, I don't see the name of this one on here, but I mean, fairly certain it's red. All right. We've got another kind of red. Poppy Field. All right. I'm going to mix some, um, oh, maybe I should put some gold with it on the bottom layer this time. I'm going to have to go find, um, that, that one didn't get mixed up, y'all. we got to mix something up good. This is the mix-ins again. Those mix-ins were cool. I'm going to put this on the bottom layer this time, see what it does. Maybe. 
Ain't nobody got time here to be shaking this thing. All right, let me move on to another color. Honeycomb. All right, I like that honeycomb. Is this the same? What did I do with the other gray? Oh, here it is. Oh, and look, this alcohol being on the brayer, y'all, is pulling this color. I don't know if you can tell it, but there's some blue transferring here. Some blue transfer from this brayer that I used a while ago. That's snazzy. Okay, so I feel like I need to add just a little bit more. Let's see. Let's go watermelon. This could be pink, maybe. Can't go wrong with little watermelon, I say. I might have a mess on my hands. All right, so we're there. And then we're going to go back with this one. Just want to make sure that the stencil is good and stuck down because we don't want it to be seeping up up under the edges because then you won't be able to keep your, your look. Now I'm going to go back with Mermaid. And then I want to go in with, let's do this mix in that actually is mixed up because that gold is not. All right. And now let's go in with a little bit of clover. No, let's go in with a little bit of sailboat blue. And I feel like I might need a little bit more mermaid because who can go wrong with that? A little more mermaid. All right. Now, let's mix this up. I'm trying to see. Sit your little tail down, stencil. Feeling excited. So what would happen if we didn't wait? Should we wait or not? Oh, cool, Melanie. Um... Oh, Melanie, um, Mariana, and I can't see your name over there, honey, but I think that's a really old, um, Tim Holtz. That's what that was. Thank you. Thumbs ups are awesome. Comments are great. Subscriptions are awesome. The child up. <laughs> All right, let's do. What are we feeling here? I'm gonna do. Let's go with this. Oh, what if we did this in the background? Okay, I don't know, y'all. I'm just here to play. Have zero idea. It might look like not good because I didn't let it dry. But it's all good. Okay, gonna go over with this thin layer of this. Mix a little bit of that pink in there because you can really never go wrong with pink. All right. Big reveal! It's time! All right, let's do this cardstock in white so we can see all the layers. It may not come up at all, but it's all good. Holy 
mother. It's like 90 of y'all on here. Can we get 100? Let's see if we can get 100. I'm kind of anxious about it. All right. Oh. Oh, what's y'all think? So I think the color would have been better if I would have let it sit. So I'm going to do it again and then I'm going to let it sit like I'm supposed to. But I had to just try. But look at this. Y'all, this is so good. Oh, my word, my word. Hmm. I am digging it. Yes, I am. Are y'all digging this? That print is good, isn't it? That pink is everything. Okay, so what we're going to do now, I don't know why I say we're going to do, because y'all ain't doing nothing. Are y'all doing something over there? Y'all better tell me if y'all working along with me now. All right, we're going to go back and we're going to try this again. I am getting very heavy-handed on it because that's how I roll. I'm going to go in with the mixer on the bottom this time. Okay, and that's going to be, I still have a little acrylic mixed into there because I didn't clean my brayer off. I probably should have thought about it, but that's okay. All right, so let me clean this thing off over here. I'm getting too excited. I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, we're going to let it. Uh, the mixer holly is the, it says mixatives, silver mixatives, Andorondack, um alcohol ink. I don't know. I've got one more color to, it's gold, but all of the mica or whatever's mixed into the alcohol ink is all the way at the bottom. I have to work on getting that worked out. All right, so we're going to try this again. I'm going to go back with my stencil here. I'm going to make sure it's good and stuck. Y'all, this alcohol ink ain't playing. It is almost dry already. All right, now let's see. We're going to go back with the mermaid. Okay, I'm going to go in with the clover, and then I'm going to go in with the mushroom. Alright, alright, so if you are playing along with me today, I would love it if you would uh, tag me on Instagram so I can see it and use my hashtag Tiff made me do it so we can see your beautiful work. All right, what is this? Take wood. It should be dark. It should give a nice little Jewish something. I'm trying to see if there's any areas. All right, I'm going to let it see it just a second. Let's see if we can let that. All right. Um, Michelle, my concern with using like my heating tool is it may melt the, um, it may melt the plates, you know, cause it's jelly. All right. Jewel is getting out her printing making. Oh, 
right, Jean, you're busy with your clusters. Let's see. This stencil is by Tracy Bautista. I think I need something right there. And it is by Stencil Girl. I'm 90% sure. Because y'all know I am horrible at remembering that stuff. But I'm kind of thinking that that's what it was. But I know it's Tracy Bautista, wherever she sells her stamps at. Okay, see, that's a good print. All right, going to let it sit. Moving back over here to let this one dry. But y'all can see that silver mixative, I hope. <laughs> Holy, that's funny. I mean, it's not funny, but it is kind of funny. Oh, my gosh, did y'all see Holly's thing in there? Um, Reese inks. Um, are you talking about the alcohol inks or the watercolor? Because I don't have any of her alcohol inks. But um, I may have to go get me some. She has pink. All right. So let's keep this party moving. We're going to just leave these out because I'm going to do some more. All right. Now back to what I was doing. Okay, so let's see. What I'm thinking is I have this big um, intricate stencil. That's a hot glue stencil. If you don't have stencils, don't want to buy stencils, I have a video on my channel way back in the day where you can make hot glue stencils. And they still have held up after all these years. Here's another one that's really cool. I'll have to use it today. It's a hot glue one. This is another hot glue stencil that I made. Just need to use a, um, uh, what you call it? A uh, silicone baking mat, I think is what I used. All right, so what I'm thinking I'm going to do now All right. All right, I think I want to go out. I think I want to pick up this all right, I'm thinking too much. That's the problem. All right, I'm going to go with this and this mustard using my Big Daddy gel plate as a little mixer, mixer upper. That's probably way too much. Now, this is a crafter's workshop stencil. I'm pretty sure about that. I can look. It might be on the other side. Some mandala or something like that. I have, oh, hold on. It's like so little. The Crafters Workshop. And it's got some numbers that I can <clears throat> All right, I'm going to this one. No, I'm going to take this one. Oh, look at that. I like it. I like to use larger stencils in the beginning, and then I like to do smaller, intricate stencils in the end. That's cool. Let's see, where did my 
paper guys. I think I will go ahead and mix some hot pink with it. doodle a little bit here and there all right all right I need a big pop of color right here Oh, I like that a lot. That's cool. I even like just not using a stencil at all. Just doodling like you saw me do with the back of the paintbrush or whatever. It's just very random and organic, which is kind of something I love. Really, really good. Let's go ahead with these because they're making me happy. And then I want to come back with this newspaper. you can see behind it too. Oops. Didn't get but just a little bit back off that. So that's okay. Tried and true paints gray. It's just so lush. Let's get all these little crusty edges good. do a little bit. This is a Prima stencil. some fine marks and then if your stencil doesn't go all the way to the edge just come back and pick it up use it like that okay. oh yeah all right let's 
go in. I want to love that. I'm also wanting to get just a little bit of these numbers right here in the center. Yep, that's what I wanted. All right, let's see. Let's get some of these tags. Because remember, I've talked about it many times. If you don't have enough light and darks, right, for me to make a print like really complete, I feel like I've got to have a little bit of dark. Like, see how that just made it pop? That just made it pop. Oh, you gotta go to <laughs> you gotta go to Hobby Lobby, Chris, and let me know what colors you get. Have a good time. Have a good day. Oh, that didn't really pick up any marks per se, but it just added just a touch of grunge that makes my heart just skip a little bit. I think I'll go all the way with this one. This one, I want to have it hang off the edge a little bit. This one... Here. Gotta go use the coupon. <laughs> awesome. Well, enjoy. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, be still my heart. Y'all, look at that. Goodness gracious, I love it. Boom. Love that. Um, yes, hello, sign me up for some more of that. Um, I love you because you are cool. Alright, so another thing I want to do, another quick little thing, is I'm going to take my milky white over here because that's what I have out. And I'm probably going to take a blop of this, whatever, ocean green over here on my little paint thing. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. And also, tell me what the quality is of this the camera. Is it good? All right. I'm going to go in with a paintbrush and paint some things. Circles are easy enough. Very technical, got very technical skills you must have to follow my channel. Joking. Alright. Just a few little randoms. Get that extra. A little extra off there. Alright. So, let's see. I want to go back. I'm still not to the point of the love in this one. So, I'm going to go back. I like the contrast that that gave it. That is an excellent base for a pebble. Hey, Pebbles, I see you. I hear you whining. It's okay. I'll be done in a little bit. My little dog is saying, Mom, you've been in that studio a long time. What you doing? Love that little, little hint of the marks there and that was just from the paintbrush so i'm thinking with this one i would like to get some of those smaller marks now see how that black pulled up the little bit right there like it just gave it a little something something a little zhuzh or something Go get a 
your jelly flakes, alcoholics, girl. I got to do that other pool here in just a second. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Ooh, I like how that one was kind of like smushed out. All of that's just with, you don't have to have a lot of tools. So don't go out feeling like you've got to have a lot to make some really cool prints. I'm going to get down here in the corner. Toodaloo! See you later, Vicky. Love that goodness right there. Let's go in and see if I can make like a half a circle there. I like that. It's really just about continuing to layer. I see a face in this girl right here. Or, there's her nose. There's her lips. It's just about figuring out how far you feel like you want to go. But these are cute. Just put into some happy mail. Put in your journals that you're making. Added to your journal page. Like the sky is really the limit when it comes to all the things that you can do with um, jelly plates, jelly plating print, jelly prints. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, so I wanna go back in with this. And then we'll pull that alcohol and piece of Alright, let's see what happens. I think I might pull it up on the fabric. If you miss what this is, this is actually an old uniform shirt that I cut apart. And I want to see. How it takes to printing. <laughs> That's funny. Everybody's going to be like, what has happened? I hate going to Hobby Lobby on Saturday though because it's always so crazy with people. Woo, it's crazy. I actually need to get out and go get some milk today for coffee from cappuccinos. And I was thinking, mm, if I go all that way, I'm going to have to go by Hobby Lobby and use my coupon. All right, let's see what happens with this. Oh, well, I had a big block of paint right there. A good base layer so we're gonna come back to that with some pink and some dark in just a minute all right let me go grab this all right da -da. back with that one let's use this and the come on Excuse me. Mm. That is so good. I'm going to need to. We're going to come back to that and use that for sure. All right. Maybe we should go with the back side of this one. Nancy, I really need groceries, but not today. All 
Oh, I'm going to get two prints out of this. I put too much paint on it, y'all. I put too much paint. That's what it is. Okay, hold on. All right. Let's add a little of white. Yep. I'm pretty sure that's what I did. Is I got a little heavy-handed with that paint. It's all good. Let's go in with this white cardstock. Yep, now we're getting it. Now we're getting down to the ink. So the key is not to put too much paint on it. Oh my. Oh y'all, this is a cool print. I love that mushroom teak wood. Almost looks like a little bit of coffee with it. That's just so scrumptious. All right, I'm going to do another one. And I'm going to do it with the numbers. All right. Let's go down with, this is another one of those that must be real old because it doesn't have a, it doesn't have a, um, what you call it, it doesn't say the name of it. We'll go in here with some of this clover and then we'll pop in some sailboat blue. All right. Oops. Forgot I had that paint from there. I might have to squish this out. Oh, Alright. So. Let me move my little thing over like that. We need like a little stencil on the edge. Here's one. Maybe that'll. Then I don't know the name of it. Wood. Oh, yay. Thanks, Melanie. Thanks for stopping by. Have fun. I'm going to try. So let's go in. I really like this honeycomb. I need to get some more of it. And if you're thinking like, dang, Tiff, do you talk to yourself in your studio? Yes. Yes, I do, friends. This one ain't staying good, y'all. This one's not going to do so good on the side. But it's, it's it probably do a little something. But it's not going to do as good. 
because I damaged my stencil. It'll straighten back out. I'll put it under a book or something and it'll be fine. Let's add a little bit more of that watermelon. It's hard to see like what you have covered in with these alcohol inks for sure. I'm also wondering if you sprayed some um, alcohol. I ain't talking about tequila. I'm talking about like isopropyl alcohol. You know, like you could probably spritz that. Oh, I love that, Denise. Yeah, it does uh, dry pretty quick. I'm going to let this sit just a second before I pull it up because I can see a little bit on the edge. This uh, stencil, I think, is um, this bloody thing. Ray Miss Sigmund, so I'm 90, 99% sure. We're just going to let that hang out. Yeah, I'm going to try it. What I was thinking, like, um, I feel like it's drying really quick, but I could potentially, like, spritz, put it in a spray bottle, the alcohol. Or what I was also thinking about is I could draw with a paintbrush and dip it in the isopropyl alcohol. Like, that might be cool. Sorry, I missed the first part. Why do you put ink down first? Roll. So it'll give it a contrast, um, Katie, where the like the alcohol ink. Let me see. Where was my good example? See how the alcohol ink was the blue on the bottom, and then it was the green on top. If that makes any sense. So, hey, LC, hopefully that answered your question for you. All right, I'm going to open this one. See, it got up under there, but it's all right. All right, going to let it sit for a minute. It's not going to take long, but I can see the shine, which means it's not dry. So let me move it over here. All right. <sighs> see, some of those alcohol inks did print. That could be cool. Now that's really got me thinking about some things. All right, so that should be like calm clean within like a second or two and I'm wanting to see if I go in with some dark do y'all see this right here that is a transfer from my hmm. that right there is a transfer from the uh darn um newspaper print but if I do it with black on that side, okay, hold on, y'all. Y'all gotta bear with me a second. I gotta try something out. All right, let's get a clean tag here. Maybe going dark wasn't the answer. All right, so here I'll go light. 
All right, but look right here. We've got some transfer. I'm going to use that white. Let's see. I'm going to try to pick it up with this white. I did a whole video on doing image transfers too with magazine images um, on jelly printing if you haven't watched that one. I'm going to go in with this coffee paper. And I might actually let that dry just a minute. I might come over here. And I'm going to go over here with this white. And this was alcohol ink. By crafting and relaxing. Um, on the top. Let's take this long piece. Of white. Let's see. Oh, yes. Hello. How you doing? I really like this. That is yummy. 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 That almost looks like the color of my nails. <laughs> oh, thanks, Lisa, for stopping by. Um... That is cool. So that's some of the that's some of the alcohol and that is really interesting. I'm gonna have to think about that. But I really like that print. It's nice and grungy and crusty and good. All right, now let's see what we got cooking over here with this. See if there's going to pick up any transfer. Nope, it's still stuck on the plate. Let me see if y'all can see this. Do y'all see? Hey, Amanda, this is a um, webcam, and I don't know how. Hey, Michelle. Um, this right here is that newsprint. Um, so I don't know how to turn the autofocus off. I will work on that. Look at this one, y'all. This might be my favorite. Is that weird? Y'all know I'm weird. Look at that. Layers. Goodness, isn't that delish? I really like that a lot. All right, let's go ahead and pull this um, alcohol ink. Okay, back with the alcohol ink. I'm going white this time so we can... Okay, I'm going to go with a touch of dab of white. Tiff, don't get heavy handed. Okay, did the white. Didn't get heavy handed. I'm proud of myself. I'm going to go in with the big piece, this reverse side over here. Michelle, are you, uh, <laughs> are you, um, jelly printing with me? Oh, that's cool. Lisa and Michelle's daughter's youngest daughter's share birthdays. All right, y'all ready? 
If you're ready, say in the comment, let go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Y'all ready? Da, da, da. Da, da, da. All right, there's 60 people in here and there's only 43 thumbs ups. Give me some thumbs ups. And give me some let's go in the comments and I'm gonna pull it. Ready, let's go, let's go. What's up, Barry? Go, 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 go. Okay, 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 I'll do it, I'll do it. Oh, y'all, can y'all see that just a little bit right there? Woo! Ooh, y'all be ready. Be ready. Oh, 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 oh. The dogs think I'm crazy, y'all. Y'all better stop. Is this not awesome? I'm going to be addicted to jelly printing with uh, alcohol ink now. What's up, Denali? Oh, my gosh. Just check it out. Oh, 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 wow, that's cool. All right, let me try another stencil type. It's not like I don't have anything else to do today. Like, I should be cleaning my house, but lifesaver. Oh, what about this one? This is a Tim Holtz one I don't ever recall using, and that's like large print could be cool so that could be one to use let's see what else we got i've got this one it's got the numbers and the rulers love it but let's do some circles or this like sun could be cool Let's go circles. I'm thinking circles and I'll try it over here. Okay. All right. I haven't used it. You are absolutely correct. Actually, I think I did. It has a little bit. I did some sun dyeing. That's a whole nother subject. We'll talk about another day. So, I thought you weren't going to get on, Hope. Y'all, Hope has a channel too, Crafty Hope. As well as Michelle's Who's Mickle Nay. If y'all have a YouTube channel that's fun and crafty, feel free to link it in the uh, comments. All right. Going in with some reds, some greens, all the things. No, just reds and oranges, excuse me. All right, gonna let that sit there just a quick hot second this is a patty tolly parish stencil i'm pretty sure and she also maybe it's not no it's oh yes it's patty tolly parish is called bubbles and it's by i stencils she also has a channel on the tube Make it trying to make sure that the stencil is connected is the key. <laughs> Kathy, I saw your message, uh, but it wouldn't let it. Let, oh, yeah, it did go through Crafty Hope. No, it's Crafty Hope. Hope, excuse me. Excuse me very much. Y'all are too much. That's funny. All right, so I'm going to go in with the silver mixative. See, it's not going to do good over here on this corner. I'm going to go in with some of this right here and a little of this right here. And why not some more of this? I will be going to buy some more alcohol inks. <laughs> that 
that one's not going to turn out good because it's not stuck very well. And I think my jelly print may, uh, jelly plate may be warped on that edge. It wouldn't surprise me. All right, so now to let it just sit and bake a minute. <laughs> That's funny, Hope. Oh, Kathy, that's cool. It, it uh, I tried to approve your message or your link, but it, it didn't go through. So, Kathy's the scrap. You know, that's a great question, Michael Nye. I'm not 100% sure. Um, what I think is that the... Uh, Oh, oh, I forgot. I forgot about this part. This is really cool. We got that good print last time by doing that. I, it actually is a little bit better than what I thought it was going to be right there. And then I want to, instead of having this spot of nothing, I'm going to go in with a little something. I think the um, acrylic ink, I mean, the acrylic actually just moistens it. It makes it lift up. I don't know if there's some type of reaction. You know I'm not about all that. I just know it works. Who knows why, but it works, it works, it works. Oh. And I also know that you love the word moist, so I thought I would throw that in there. Okay, so now what do we want to do with this one? Y'all, I just can't stop looking at this. I just need to take it all in. All right, this is making my other prints feel very not good because they are jealous right now of this awesomeness. Oops. I don't know if that darn print of that um thing is gonna just stay there or what. I think I'm just going to do a regular print now with no stencil. This is as good as it gets when I clean my plate is putting a thin layer and then pulling it up. What I'm actually going to do this time is <clears throat> do a file folder. Oops. and get it all on this crustiness. Yes, get to making and play. And don't forget to uh, tag me when you're through, if you're on Instagram, and then um, use my hashtag so we can all come and see what you made. You know, one of the things I really like about jelly uh, printing is it's not, you like, you don't literally have to think about anything other than just putting the paint down. You learn things as you go through, but you don't necessarily have to think about a lot. I'm all about that. Okay. Hey, Gail, I think it's the autofocus, which I do not know how to turn off. Let me see. It, it's going in and out, and I don't know how to stop it in the live stream part. So, my apologies. Oh, y'all. What have you done here? This is scrumptiousness. 
Oh yeah. Look at that hint. Just that hint of color right there is everything to me right now. Ooh, that's so good. All right. I told y'all I was going to use one of my handmade, oops, my handmade stencils. I'll use this. This is my hot glue stencil from a hot glue video I did. Doesn't have any paint on it, just a little bit of residual from that um last time I used it. So we'll see what that looks like. Now I want to do this big chunk right here. see like that is good stuff right there I love that that mm, yeah, yeah all right so now what else do I want to do too we've got this big piece over here love that we've got some of our first prints middle and that pop liking that what about this could it use a little something something oh yeah it could pink makes everything better boom shakalaka hello love it um, yes, please. Let's take a little bit of that. It's right there on the corner. Boom, shaka. All right, we got a plain one. Let's just go big and go home. Oh, yeah. Hello. All right, let's check our other one. All right, it's reveal time. I want y'all to see that mix it in with that metallic. <laughs> Deidre, that's funny. That is so funny in the drive through car wash. My car is so dirty, girl. When you would you come and get it and just take mine through there, please too. Thank you. Oh, you want the big daddy um the big daddy one? It is this is this is where it's at, y'all. Is the big daddy one is where it's at. All right, let's go with a piece of what? Yep, what? 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 I guess I'll go back. Nope. Already got that. Let's go a file folder print. See what happens. So my 
my tip for jelly printing, although I'm not a pro, is to make sure that you layer, layer, layer. And you also do darks and lighter colors to see what you like. Y'all ready for the big reveal? Hey, Marsha. Is Logan hanging with you today? Yes, you were right on that, Nancy. I remember them saying not to use alcohol inks, too, but then I guess we live and learn. Oh, y'all. I was listening to music. Are you ready? Uh oh. Let's see. Da 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 da! Grungy goodness! Yes! Oh my gosh. That's awesome. And those, you see those drops? That's where I just drip that little area right there. That's good times, y'all. That is good times. This could be quite addicting, I feel. And I feel the other thing I want to do is now that I have a base on, like, say, this and some of these that have base, I think I'm going to go back and do some inks just to see what happens. And also, I think, while I'm doing all that, I'm going to try to use this. It's a really fine one. And I'm not going to put any alcohol or inks on the base. Okay. Because I already have my. Yes. I'm about. Um, I put. Yes. I put alcohol inks and then pull the paint. But you got to let the alcohol inks dry, I think. Or at least I got the best results that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go in. This is a really fine stencil, so I don't know if it's going to work as well. I'm going to go in with this. I can't tell where the dang thing ends. Okay. Just trying to get it in there a little bit. I don't know if it'll do good or not. You never know until you try. Some of this metallic mixative, which is life. Let's mix it all in with that. And then, did I use some of this already? Probably. All right. Now let's go in with this. Trying to get it all in those little cracks. Let's see. But I figured this like daintier stencil will look really cool if it works on some of these already printed. Um, so this one I did not put two layers of um I did not put two layers of ink down. Just the one. Just through the stencil. That's it. So I'm going to let it sit here and marinate just a second. Y'all just talk amongst yourself. Y'all just talk about yourself. Um, Holly, I don't have distress sprays. I have tried distress ink, I think. And I've also tried, um... 
Oh, I've been standing up the whole time. Um, what else did I try? Little pastel things. Somebody asked me about pan pastels earlier, and I don't have but like two colors. Thanks to my friend Mickle Knight who gave me the two colors. Um, so I haven't experimented with that. And then I also did um what is the name of it? Um gelatos. Gelatos. I did a video on gelatos too. Okay. Now we just sit and let it dry. It won't take long. I'm going to leave it right here because it's real fine. All right. What was I going to do after that? Oh, I know what I was going to do. I also like to do it like this, too. Let me get... This paint water really needs to be changed, but it's all good. I really like the brush strokes that brushes make when you go on your jelly plate. I do, I do. I do like it a lot. And the reason I like kind of like this versus just doing it directly on my page is because it will give me like a very imperfect design opposed to just stenciling directly on it. And then I like to take this part that I just did and squish it down. Yeah, Amy, I think diving it in would be a great idea too. All right, so what I want to do, I want to see if I can pull it. That is really dark. I want to um, put a little light maybe on that one. These tags, y'all, are just life right now. They are so good. If I do say so myself, let's go on the back side of this one. Didn't pull it much. All right, so let's go in just a little bit. All right, I ain't gonna keep y'all on here much longer. Okay, I'll just I'm gonna finish this one up. I'm gonna pull this alcohol print and then. I'll be doing. I do think it's Saturday. If it's cold where you live, I hope that it is thawing out and you will be able to get out and have some sunshine soon. contrast between those two. I like that a lot. I'm going to get this last little edge here. And then there was one over here that I thought was really dark. So I'm going to try and get something going over here. 
see if I can pull something to make it a little bit light. Still don't love it, but that's okay. It will make a good background starter. Those little crusty edges are so good. to pull it on one of these that I already have patterned and um, acrylic ink. And we're going to see if it works or not. <laughs> Lisa, you're funny. <laughs> Jennifer, hey, what's up? Oh, bless it. Well, I hope y'all can see sunshine. Out from under the snow. It is shining bright here in my neck of the woods today. Thank goodness. It's still a little cool for Tip, but I'm not going to complain because we did not have to deal with all that snow and stuff. So I'm going to go in with this back side here, I think, on the edge. I'm going to see if it pulled anything. It did, y'all. Look at there. How cool is that? It's just a touch, right? It's just a touch. I really like that a lot. I'm going to go with this that we had earlier. And I'm going to print. Uh, kind of just right here. I can, oh, I can make out a little bit right there. That's cool. And then maybe right up here towards the top. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. I need to get that little edge right there. All right, beautiful people. Thank you so much for being here today. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you're watching the replay, again, please put hashtag replay in the comments so I know that you were here and able to see the video. Um, I appreciate you being here. I hope that you enjoy today's play session when it comes to um, jelly printing and using some alcohol inks and the varieties of all kinds of things that I threw at it today. Um, this one is probably my top favorite that I really liked. And this one might be a second. That was like the second pull off of that. So um, I like those a lot. So thank you so much for being here. And I'll see y'all next time. To live. Thanks, Lisa, for your adminship out there. <laughs> Hashtag Tiff Nation. Y'all funny. Bye, y'all.